What up guys, it's your boy Ricky Moto, and check out the croc game, oh my goodness. So today we're going to be installing a new windscreen on the Z125 Pro because I'm sick and tired of riding with all this wind blowing on my body. Not only is this going to cut out a lot of wind, but also make the bike look 10 times more aggressive. But before we get on with this video, make sure to like and drop a comment below. It really helps the algorithm, especially as a new creator. So without further ado, let's get the install done. Now here's the thing, I also got this off of eBay. This doesn't fit exactly perfectly but it'll work if we kind of finagle with it a little bit. So it's pretty much gonna go right on this front panel over here and it doesn't fit exactly because there's literally like a little gap in between. Now the kit did come with some risers and whatnot, but it doesn't fit perfectly with that either. So this is kind of the look of it, if you can imagine. So what you get with the kit is this metal bracket and I was kind of wondering what this was for because it actually didn't fit anywhere. And then we have some screws along with a plastic riser. And you could drill a hole in here and, you know, screw it down. But I figured that this screw up top is going to go through the fairing piece. And the riser is going to sit actually underneath this gap to pretty much give a little bit of space between the tachometer and the cover. So I think that's where the riser actually goes. But yeah, I just noticed the inside of this cover is hollow. So I could actually just drill all four holes right now and just bolt it in and hopefully it'll be a pretty simple process. Now this could actually come right off like that, as you can see, but I'm gonna just clip it in. They're not gonna be exactly lined up, but I feel like once you put a hole through it, I can always like maneuver it a little bit and it'll be a little easier. screws are not going to fit into this tiny little thing so I'm going to use a bigger thing and just drill it bigger. Right, let's see if we can kind of just thread this through. I feel like the screw will bite itself into the plastic so yep all right we're good. So now that we know this size is correct let's install the windscreen and I'm going to do the top portion first and lock it in on the other side with the spacers. There we go. My camera's dying, so I might have to make a quick cut in a little bit. Here is a look of what it looks like. We have four bolts over here, and then on the other side, as you can see, they just poke through after we drill the holes. And then all we have to do is put washers and then a nut. All right, and now we have the whole entire assembly installed. As you can see, we have the risers on top, the bolts on the bottom, and then all you do is just push it back together, bolt down each side. I might actually just zip tie it because I those bolts gave me a freaking nightmare. So I'm going to just zip tie it back together and then I'll eventually fix that uh, signal light. But yeah, this is the final look and installation. A very small detail, yet it makes a big difference. I don't know if there's going to be any performance like in terms of blocking wind, but yeah, looks pretty good. Four bolts each side, uh, pretty affordable as well. And that's that. 